recognise that having cancer can mean many big changes in your life, but it is important to maintain as much normality as possible, and there are various ways that you can do this. Being diagnosed with cancer doesn't mean you can't work or do things you would normally do. You may not feel up to it, you may feel tired, take things at your own pace. If you are concerned about work, you can discuss this with your employer, perhaps take some time off, reduce your hours, or discuss doing a less demanding job. Please ask at your local Macmillan Information Centre if you require further advice and guidance on employment support services. We have no problem with you going on holiday during your treatment. Please discuss this with your consultant in advance when you plan to go and we should be able to work your treatment cycles around this. You should always disclose your medical history to the insurance company, including what type of cancer you have and what treatment you're on. Different insurance companies may provide different co coverages for your holiday. Some insurance companies specialise in people with pre-existing medical conditions and may therefore be able to cover more problems related to your cancer. There are many ways of finding out more information on travel insurance. Please ask at your local Macmillan Cancer Information Service, alternatively online. There are no restrictions on what you can eat while you're on treatment. However, some of our treatments do contain salt, so if you are on a low salt diet, please inform your consultant. Some of these treatments may make you feel drowsy or sleepy. If this happens, then please avoid driving or operating any heavy machinery. If you are having difficulties getting to the hospital for your treatment, either because of where you live or not being able to drive, please let us know beforehand so we can arrange transport for you. Alternatively, you can have family or friends drive you to the hospital. It is unlikely during immunotherapy that you will lose your hair. It's possible that your hair may begin to thin, but it is a very uncommon side effect. If you do experience any hair loss, please contact your consultant as this could be due to a hormonal imbalance and you may need to be referred for some treatment and examinations. If you do lose your hair during treatment, your consultant can provide you with a wig referral and information on where and how you can receive a wig. You can still have sex while on your immunotherapy treatment, but it is natural for the cancer or the treatment to change the way you feel about it. There are many things that can help with this, but the most useful thing is to talk about it either with a partner, a friend, a family member, or your GP. It is important that you don't get pregnant or father a child whilst on immunotherapy as it may harm the baby. It also may be that you have to wait several months after your treatment before trying for one. You should therefore continue to use contraceptives whilst undergoing your treatment. Some of these treatments may also affect your fertility. If you are concerned about this, please speak to your consultant as there are things that we can do such as storing your sperm or your eggs. We also advise that you avoid breastfeeding at this time as the drug may be present in the breast milk. This will depend on what it is. Please tell your doctor any medication that you're currently taking or about to commence and also any complementary therapies and herbal remedies. Finally, you should not have any immunisations with live vaccines whilst on immunotherapy in at least six months after. These include the MMR, BCG, yellow fever and shingles vaccine. It should be safe for you to have your annual flu vaccination, but please run this by your consultant, especially if you're on a treatment called ipilimumab, also known as Yervoy.